This is WBGG TV. Welcome back to yet another episode of WBGG TV News. I'm Miss Dahmer, and I'm happy to have my co anchor back with me this week. Man, what a nap that was. I am glad to be back, everyone. I'm Miss Burns, and I am very well rested. Well, Ms. Burns, while you were napping last week, we asked for viewer submissions of fan art, and we weren't disappointed with the two submissions that we received. We were not. First, we received an awesome WBGG TV logo from Angelina, featuring a Voyager ship at sea. It perfectly encompasses our team spirit of exploration and adventure. Our second submission came from Rachel, who drew us a wonderful picture of Miss Peterson sporting some University of Michigan gear. It looks great, Rachel, but I made a few necessary wardrobe changes for Miss Peterson to accurately represent how she really feels about collegiate sports. Go green. This week, we gave Miss Wiley a little break. She is taking some time to enjoy the sunshine and perhaps a little rain to celebrate her birthday. If you get a chance, please send her a belated birthday wish. And now, on to our news stories. An apple a day keeps the doctor away is a famous proverb with origins in the Welsh culture. No, not that apple. I wonder what happens if you eat more than one apple a day, and does the doctor care if it's red or green? Well, anyway, Granny Smith, Macintosh, Red Delicious are just a few types of these delicious fruits. In a time when we are all trying to stay healthy, try an apple for some extra vitamin C. My personal favorites are the Honeycrisp variety. As you can see, I enjoyed a shiny... Honey crisp this afternoon in my backyard. If you like juicy and crisp apples, I suggest trying these out. Dear Diary, many of you may not know that I, Miss Burns, do keep something like a diary, a journal, and I am finding that during these crazy times, writing in my journal can be very helpful. I even finished a journal last week. I filled it with all sorts of thoughts and feelings and wonderings from these quarantine times, and I was delighted to start a fresh new journal this weekend. If you haven't given it a try, I suggest you do so. Go grab a notebook, a pen, find a spot, open to a fresh new page, and write, write, write away. And now, on to Miss Presslack with Presslack's Picks. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Presslax Picks. Today my sister and I are going to be hitting golf balls. Now realistically we want to try to get them in the bucket, but I don't think that's going to happen, so we're just going to try to see who can get it as close to the bucket as possible. Each of us are going to have 10 golf balls, 10 chances, and at the end we'll take a look and we will see who's the winner. so it looks like I didn't do great but I didn't do terribly I got pretty much three really close to the bucket now we'll see Miss Presslack number two Here you have it. It's press slack number two. Well, I think my sister maybe beat me by a little bit, but I think we can all agree that both of us still have a lot of work to do. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next week. This week, a 
on Pets with Peterson, we'll be looking at some adorable pet submissions. First, a student in my class has a cat named Jarvis. According to Jarvis's family, they don't think that Jarvis likes quarantine very much because he's getting too much attention from his family and would prefer to lay in silence. Next, we have Ruby. Ruby likes to lay on her family's beds, go for long walks, lay in the sunlight, and open unlocked doors. Next, we have a Voyager student with two adorable dogs. Riley is a golden retriever who loves to play and have fun. Chestnut is a cabochon who loves to relax and snuggle with her family. Our next Voyager student has two dogs as well, Phoebe and Zeus. Phoebe is just a puppy and Zeus is five. They love to run around, play outside, and chase squirrels and birds. And finally, a student in Ms. Simo's class has a crested gecko named Cinnamon Bungie. In her free time, Cinnamon Bungie likes to... Wait, what's that? I just got a report that Cinnamon Bungie's on the loose. It sounds like we have some footage. Let's take a look. <laughs> Gecko, please contact Miss Sino so we can get Cinnamon Bungie back to a rightful owner. That's all we have time for this week. Stay tuned for more Pets with Peterson, and on to you, Miss Simo. Hey there, it's Miss Simo coming to you with the only sports segment filmed right here in my own backyard. Check out these sweet basket skills from a student in my very own homeroom. Miss Kadecki with her brand new segment, Catching Up with Kadecki. Hello and welcome to Catching Up with Kadecki. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss Kadecki and I'm Mrs. Burkowski's substitute. Every week we'll be catching up with your one of your favorite Glen Grove staff members and you'll get to see what they've been up to. This week's guest is Mrs. Lay. Um, hi Mrs. Lay, how are you? Hi! Thank Doing you. pretty well. Thank you so much for being here. Anytime. So I just have a couple of questions for you to help you catch up with our fifth graders. Um, my first question for you is just what have you been doing since e-learning started at home? Do you have any new hobbies or things that you've been doing? Uh, well, I've been reading a lot of books. I love to read. I've been hanging out with Mr. Lay because he's teaching from home too. So we're both kind of working on our lessons together and working with students. So that's a lot of fun. I've been working a lot on transferring the musical to being online. That's been a big project. And one of my new hobbies is studying Chinese. You guys remember I grew up in China, but it's been a while since I've studied Chinese. And so I'm, I'm really working on it. So that's my big challenge for myself. That's very cool learning a new language or practicing. Very cool. <laughs> um, my next question for you is, what do you miss the most about being at Glen Grove every day? The students, obviously. I miss being with all of you and getting to interact with you and be in the classroom and do all of the things we normally do. That's probably the hardest part. <laughs> Although I was telling Mr. Lay, next week is gonna be the day the musical is supposed to open. And that will be a sad day too. But I'm really glad that we can do so much work online. It's really quite amazing how much technology we have. And it's so great being able to see so many of you guys on Zoom sessions and seeing your projects that you turn in and being able to come up with a plan to do our musical digitally. Like all of this is really good. So I'm enjoying that process too. Yeah, I know the fifth graders are excited to get to do their musical, even though it looks a little bit different. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, you kind of answered this, but is there a part you like the best about e-learning? You know, I think it's actually really fun to see some different students in a different way. Like I get to meet your pets or, you know, there's some students who might be more shy in the classroom where on Zoom they're a little more outgoing or I get to see a little more of your personalities that I don't normally get to see. And that's actually been super fun for me. Nice. Um, my last question for you is just, is there anything you'd like to say to the fifth graders? I know it's a little bit different at the end of the year for them. So is there anything, you, any messages you want to give them? Yeah. 
You guys are such an amazing fifth grade class. You are really rocking this whole e-learning and it's a strange way to end your fifth grade year, but I know you guys are gonna end it great and that you are going to accomplish so many things in these last bits of school. And I really hope we can make some special memories even though we are social distancing and physical distancing, but just wanna hope that the year will end really well for everyone. I agree. All right, well, those are all the questions I have. Thank you very much for your time. And Thank you. talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Thanks again, Mrs. Lay. Students, if there are any teachers you would like to catch up with or any questions you'd like to ask them, please send your ideas to mkadecki at glenview34.org. See you next week. Great investigative reporting from all of our Voyager teachers, but especially Miss Kudecki with her first assignment. Great to see you on the show. I look forward to more interviews in weeks to come. Speaking of weeks to come, we would like to offer you, Gator musicians, a chance to change up our routine a little with your own submissions of the Gator song to be featured at the end of a future WBGG TV news episode. Yes, Miss Dahmer, sometimes it's good to switch things up a little bit, especially right now when we seem to be doing a lot of the same thing. Well, sending it off to you, Miss Preslack and Mrs. Warren. See you next week. Hello, Gators. Here we go. One. has been a Voyager team production. Thank you for watching. Well, I think... All right. Well, I forgot what I was gonna say. Fan art. Nope, lost my spot. Nope, nope. lost it. The worst. With... Blech.